Welcome back. It is day 10 of Vlogmas. Happy Vlogmas and TGIF. If this is your first time watching, my name is Judith. I am one half of the Nutty Nitty Sister vlog cast. <laughs> um, my sister Julie and I do a um, video every about every month um, just showcasing and sharing the love of all fibery things. Uh, we do yarn adventures when the weather is good. However, it is winter here in the great state of Maine, so staying home and staying warm right now. <laughs> um, if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I hope you are enjoying these videos. Um, we'll just jump right into what I'm wearing. Um, I am wearing the Ondania shawl. This was a um, shawl that I did this winter. Um, this was a shawl I did this summer, um, and I saw it on a YouTube video for, on um, Expression Fiber Arts, and that's where I got the pattern and the yarn. It is Expression Fiber Arts pearlescent yarn, uh, pearlescent fingering yarn, and it is in three different colors. I do not remember the colorways, um, however, the leftover yarn from this shawl is in a bag. <laughs> behind me. Um, it is one of my many, many, uh, I think I have a total of 36 I counted the other day, um, projects waiting to be knit. So um, the second one I'm going to do in the opposite way. So the white will be on the top, the bluish, and then the pink, and then this um, pinky brown. So yeah, that's, that's that. Um, and then on my feet, I am wearing uh, pattern by Helen Stewart. This was part of this year's Handmade Sock Society. It is called Lavender Fields. Um, it was a um, naked yarn, um, literally, that's the name of the company, Naked Yarn. And um, I dyed it in the crock pot with Country Classics dye. Um, the colors were, I believe, lilac and quicksilver. Um, and then knit that, knit those up as part of Handmade Sock Society. Um, so that is what I'm wearing. Um, it is very cold. It is about, I think the last time I checked it was about 17 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Um, and it's bound to get colder now that the sun is going down. It has been a day. Uh, it's just been extremely busy, a lot of technical issues at work. So um, I, it's, I'm done with work. It's 3.30 and I'm just recording my very first video. Um, but we're gonna get it started. So mugs. This is my mug for today. You may have seen any opening credits. Um, it is one of my daughter's mugs. When you put um, a hot liquid in it, it changes color and the Batman signal appears here over Gotham City. And then on the other side of the mug, there are green clouds and it says, ha ha ha. Um, obviously the Joker's laugh. Um, my coffee is not hot. It is lukewarm, but still very drinkable. Mm. Um, so that is today's mug. Um, Advents. So um, I created, if you haven't watched before, I created an advent for myself of fiber made out of all kinds of different fibers I have in my fiber stash. Mostly they are Paradise Fibers Fiber of the Month Club box fibers. This one, I believe, came out of the October box. Um, I'm not sure because that box is in the bedroom with my husband, who is quarantined at the moment. Um, <clears throat> but it is a beautiful green and yellow and white, and it's got these fun little tweety bits that I think are going to really, really um, spin up nice. 
Um, I have no idea what the fiber content is either because that card is also in where he is. So um, I am going to spin that straight away after we get done talking. Um, whip updates. Um, I'll start off with the Skyline Wrap because she's gotten no love. Um, I just didn't have the time or energy to do that last night. Um, honestly, I didn't even finish the Habitation Throw. Um, I had two more rows and I just couldn't keep my eyes open, so I finished that this morning. Um, but I did... Oh my goodness! I've forgotten... Oh, here it is. My other advent that I have is an advent from Robin Beal at A Yarn to Die for Designs. And in today's advent, there was a lovely um, Crystal Box Natural Pure Hand Cream in, the, in a coconut scent. And this time of year, things are so dry between the forced air hot, um, forced hot air heat and just the dryness of winter, my hands do get so dry and stick to all the yarn. And so this was a very welcome treat this morning. This is actually probably about the fourth time I've put this on. I'm also using a lot of hand sanitizer. Um, Anytime I have to deliver anything or um, collect anything from my husband, um, I'm having to put hand sanitizer on. So, um, yeah, it's very welcomed. Thank you, Robin. Um, her fiber, uh, her um, yarn this day, <laughs> this advent was, oh, let me get one that's not attached, um, was called... I almost remember it. Ring those darn bells. <laughs> and it is a beautiful fiber with this deep burgundy and green and little flecks of gray. And I thought the yard itself was gray and maybe it is like a silvery gray, um, but it almost has a purple sheen to it. And it is really, really beautiful. I love it. So I have already caked that up. It, the, the red really stood out in the skein um, in the opening where I was actually opening the bag. You could really see those pops of red in there. Um, but it is a, another stunning mini skein. I did manage to already finish the socks. Um, there is yesterday's color and today's color. And both of them are done. I am collecting quite a few little um, baubles here for my nor e northeasterly throw um, or blanket later in the year. I'm going to have to get a bigger bag though because that one's just about full. Um, so the habitation throw. Here is what I have completed so far. The green was from yesterday and just about, yeah, two rows of the new um the new color the ring those darn bells color <laughs> um yeah it's coming along quite nicely i'm really thrilled it is so soft and squishy it's going to be a luxurious little treat um so that is whip updates life updates um michael is doing well he um he is extremely tired um, he didn't have a very restful sleep last night. The cough is still lingering, um, but he is holding his own. Um, he's getting some of his humor back, which is nice. And he um, requested grilled, che grilled cheese sandwiches for lunch. And I was happy to oblige, not only because I want to definitely make him some solid food for a change, but also I love grilled cheese. So <laughs> um, that was lunch. Today's plans. Um, today's plans. Um, I thank you very much for all of your suggestions um, in the comments of the other video about what I should do for content. Um, I got one suggestion to um, show old knits, which I um, certainly am going to try to do later in the month, and um, sharing Christmas memories, which I think is very special, and I will definitely um, try to do that as well. Yesterday, I talked about the um, 
goodie trays that we used to swap between my sisters and my mother. Um, all the candies and sweets and cakes and yummy things that we used to swap. So I thought we might spend some time in the kitchen this evening and make one of our very favorite um, goodie tray treats, which is cream cheese mints. Um, it literally was on everybody's tray every year and we just love them. They're so delicious. Um, so we'll go to the kitchen and do that. And then when I close out this evening, I will share with you just some of the other recipes. Um, I'll share with you all the ingredients for the cream cheese mints, um, as well as some other recipes that we used to, that used to be family favorites on the goodie trays. So without further ado, let's go to the kitchen. It is the end of Vlogmas Day 10. It is um, close to 10.30 here. Um, it is very cold, so I have thrown on my favorite cozy, um, it's kind of a, a cocoon sweater. Um, it's very old. My sister gave it to me and I fell in love with it, so it's my cozy, cozy um, throw on when it's cold sweater. Um, so the end of another day. It's Friday. The weekend is tomorrow. 
Um, I should be able to get a lot more knitting done tomorrow. I am currently working on the um, Skyline Wrap by Helen Stewart, part of Knitvent. It was window one of Knitvent. I have not even started the final window yet. Um, I am trying to get this done and then move on to that final one as my addition to my advents. Um, I did get the socks done. I showed you that earlier today. Um, the habitation throw, I put it in the car um, to knit on when I went to pick up my daughter from work and I left it in the back seat of the car and it is far too cold. She got out of work at 10 o'clock so I've actually just returned from doing that. Um, and it's far too cold to go back outside and get it. Um, I think it's like 24 degrees outside or something ridiculous. So um, left that in the car for tonight. <clears throat> um, I will go out and get it in the morning when I let my chickens out and then I'll finish today's Advent and uh, do tomorrow's. Um, it's actually going very quickly. Uh, it's quite big, but um, it still is, each, each row each day is going really quick. So I should be able to bang that out pretty quickly. Um, and then hopefully get this done because I only have three more colors to go on it. Um, so there's really just one more section and then the gar the, um, the ribbed section at the end here um, and I'll be done. So I'm really hoping this gets done tomorrow. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video of making the cream cheese mints. Um, so this is from a, it's actually a recipe that has been in my family for a very long time. Look, empty recipe cards. Um, it's a recipe that's been in my family for a very long time. Um, it is in a very old, uh, the covers are, and the back is missing. It's one of those fund craft, um, sort of like a fundraiser uh, cookbook. And it was put out by um, a church that we attended when I was a child. Um, and so it's got lots of recipes from different people that I remember from church. I mean, I'm looking at names of people that... Um, you know, I went to church with and hung out with their friends and went to youth group um, with a lot of these people. And so it's kind of, it's kind of neat to look back and see all of these names. It's one from my mom, a lemon bars recipe by Janet. Um, and that recipe is a fabulous recipe. <laughs> she makes very, very good um, lemon bars. But this is where I have my um, cream cheese mints recipe and um, another recipe that I'll, I'll talk about. So the cream cheese mints is basically one package of softened cream cheese. In the video, I used half a package because I was only making half of the recipe. The recipe makes a hundred mints. So, um, and usually you make the mints very small, but I make a nice big hearty mint. Um, and you just mash up the um, the cream cheese. I put it in my KitchenAid blender. It's just easier on my joints that way. Um, it's one package of cream cheese, six and two quarter, sorry, six and two thirds cups powdered sugar. It's basically all but one third cup of a two pound bag of powdered sugar. And you just kind of mash that all together and knead it into a dough, kind of like um, like a pie dough. And then you add a couple of teaspoons of flavoring, uh, one teaspoon of flavoring, um, and some some color if you would like to. Then you just roll them into little the little balls, um, roll them into some um, some sugar, and then just press them with a fork, or you can put them into molds. Um, and then you set them aside and let them dry, and they. They get kind of a, a crisp, kind of a, um, just a dried coating on the outside of them. Um, they are super good, super yummy. Um, I made three flavors today. I made cinnamon, which I dyed blue, and I usually do red, but I found I did not have any root red food coloring. Um, and then peppermint, which I did in green and then rum flavored, which I did in yellow. Um, usually I do, um, usually I do peppermint, 
spearmint, and rum. Um, if I can get my hands on a winter green, um, sometimes I'll do that as well. But the rum ones are so, so yummy. Um, I did have to taste test just one of each of the flavors to make sure there was enough flavoring in it. Um, so that was the cream cheese mints. Some of our other favorites were um, Cathedral Windows, which is also in here. Um, and basically that's egg, butter, um, chocolate chips, powdered sugar, colored marshmallows, and walnuts. Um, and you basically just throw everything together in a sauce pot um melt everything down then you throw in the marshmallows and then you kind of roll it in this log wrap it in wax paper and toss it in the fridge and let it harden up and then you slice it into these little sliced cookies um you roll the log in the nuts too um you slice that log into these little cookie sized um, pieces and the colored marshmallows surrounded by the chocolate make it look like a cathedral window and it's just this yummy, chocolatey, marshmallowy confection. It's very good. Um, something that I really like to make, um, and I think it's really cute on the tray, is Haystacks. Um, Haystacks is butterscotch chocolate chip, uh, butterscotch chips melted with a little paraffin wax. And the paraffin wax just kind of helps it um, get glossy and, and um, hold hold together um, and then you coat you pour that over chow mein noodles those little crunchy chow mein noodles um, and just kind of mix it all together and then you pile them on wax paper and let them cool and the the chips and the paraffin kind of hold everything together and they look like little haystacks and then because it's winter, I like to sprinkle a little powdered sugar on the top of them and make them look like winter haystacks. They're really delicious. It's a nice, crunchy, butterscotchy, yummy confection. Um, No-bake cookies are also a big hit. Um, I, I'm not even sure exactly how to make no-bakes out of the top, off of the top of my head. I know it is um, cocoa, peanut butter, I think there's butter and milk in it too. Melt it, toss in your rolled oats, and then put them on wax paper and harden them up. Um, fudge, my mother's fudge is top notch. I have tried multiple times to make fudge like my mother and there is nobody who can make fudge like my mother. <laughs> um, every time I make it, I don't know how, I guess I don't get all of the sugar off the side of the pan and it ends up crystallizing. So your fudge is kind of, it has, you know, it has the crystallized sugar in it, but my mother's fudge always comes out super creamy, uh, just absolutely perfect. Um, <clears throat> I think it's butter and milk and sugar, cocoa, and then at the very end, you throw in a little vanilla and peanut butter and just whip it really good and then stick it in the pan and let it cool and it's just, it's yummy. Um, <clears throat> Russian tea cakes is not something, I think Julie used to put some on her um, goodie trays. I just found a, got a recipe from a coworker, probably actually quite a while ago, five or six years ago. And I just started making those around the holiday season. Um, they're also known as, um, I think they're pecan, like pecan nougats maybe. Um, they're a very buttery, crunchy cookie with lots of um, walnuts or pecans or you can do any nut really in them. Um, but they're they're cooked um, in the oven and then they, they're little balls. They come out, you roll them in powdered sugar while they're still hot so it kind of um, melts into the cookie and then you let them cool a little bit and roll them again and they are so delicious. Um, thumbprint cookies are also a huge favorite. Um, it's a basic sugar cookie recipe. Um, you put it in, in balls on the pan. I think my mother used to roll them in crushed up cornflakes. Um, and then you stick your finger in the middle of the cookie and put a little bit of jam or jellies um, in that thumbprint and then bake them. And the jam just kind of um, 
melts into the cookie and they're just they're incredibly good so you get that sweet cookie crunch plus the um the sweetness of the fruit and the jam and they're really really good um of course you have, we have the staples as well we have the um the chocolate chip cookies, snickerdoodles, peanut butter cookies, molasses cookies. Um, some of those always made appearances as well. Um, but those were some of the things that I remember most about the um, goodie trays and the sweets and treats of the holiday season. So I hope you enjoyed um, the family recipes and um, give those cream cheese mints a try. They are delicious. If you have any family recipes that you um, remember are, are part of your family uh, holiday traditions, I would love for you to share them in the comments and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.